Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Jamal Murray. I'm excited to try out Jamal, man. See how good he is at the point guard position. Although I will say, I have heard that Jamal Murray's jump shot is not good this year, and I'm a little worried that's going to be the case. If so, I think he might be a little bit mid uh, at the point guard position because he's not that elite defensively. Offensively is where he needs to thrive, and if his release isn't good, I wouldn't recommend using the card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. I did pull Jamal Murray in my pack opening yesterday along with the Pink Diamond and some other stuff, so if y'all haven't seen that pack opening, go watch it. It was pretty insane saying for only 250 kmt and uh yeah without further ado jamal murray 6 4 98 offense 93 defense coming with a 97 driving layup 97 mid-range 97 three ball 90 driving dunk 90 free throw i mean offensively looks awesome 89 ball handle 92 pass accuracy defensively he's kind of meh 75 block 79 interior isn't incredible 88 steel perimeter is decent but again not insane would definitely boost up the defense with a shoe if i was going to use jamal 94 speed and speed of ball 90 excel and 91 lateral quickness is very very solid 95 stamina as well but it's 54 strength is rough i think he's going to struggle defensively a little bit 11 hofster acrobat slithery agent three blinders catch and shoot dead eye limitless range handles for days hyperdrive blow by and speed booster gold badges include badges like fast twitch and posterizer as well as corner specialist guard up uh bailout break starter unpluckable pogo stick bunny precision dunker whistle free points physical handles triple strike silver clamps glove and pick dodger and then bronze ankle braces interceptor fast feet and right stick ripper a lot of his important defensive badges are unfortunately on silver and bronze which isn't great and he has no none of really the interior badges so i just think you're looking at a guy who's going to be a little limited defensively but also not having the best release if that is the case which i think it is that is going to mean just eh, he's fine like he's not great but well it's not as bad as I remember it being, I will say that, but I still don't feel like it's very good, if that makes sense. Uh, it's not. It feels quicker than it was. Maybe it was on slow or something. And his behind the back is really good. His movement is amazing. So there is some stuff to like about this card for sure. The Jamal Murray behind the back might be the best in the game right now, uh, at least in the half court. That creates a lot of separation. It's just the release itself is not that fast. It's it's it's, it's okay, but I wouldn't say it's great. Uh, bursting wise, I mean, movement on him is okay. His front escape is not very good i just jumped up that pretty badly but he actually does look like he's going to be a really good slasher with the 90 driving dunk pretty large green window for a wide open dunk that's not terrible so like that's pretty good uh i think stick dunking can be a viable option for jamal murray and like the movement is nice his escape and his behind the back are really really nice so there is a lot to really like the misdirection that he has is super duper good i think he's going to be a dog in a lot of ways i just worry the release isn't incredible and also defensively he's not that amazing so there's some flaws for sure but at the same time i think he's going to be very good that dame dribble style is good his fade is nice as a whole card's going to be pretty good i just don't think he's going to be next level elite because he's not truly amazing defensively and his release isn't incredible but overall he's a really good card let's hop into a game see what jamal can do all right, hopping into this game. Well, we got a tough matchup. Drew Holiday is not ideal at the point guard position for our uh, defensive matchup in this game. That's probably the best, like, pure perimeter defensive point guard in the game right now. Jamal Murray attacks the rim, gets downhill, and gets a dunk. That's not a bad start at all. Getting around the screen and getting downhill against the CPU defense. Love to see that. That right there, right here, Jamal Murray. This is kind of the issue where I just don't think his standstill jump shot is quite fast enough for his size and what you want out of him with his skill set against somebody who is defensively the way that this drew holiday card is defensively when you get an open space it's gonna be a good look and it's gonna be knocked down he's gonna be green he hit that one off the dribble very well and uh, you love to see it but five to nothing lead i mean it's a good start for sure i'm just a little still worried a little t tentative about that release i guess still would be a good way to put it uh burst here chill good move let's attack this way and let's fade jamal murray nice fade nice shot oh my goodness he's cooking right now if you can hoop like this definitely like his fade a lot to both sides so that's something you can really use effectively as well it's just defensively he's not amazing so I don't know if you're like you're using him next to defensive guys if you can But I think there might be a few guys who would still be considered probably slightly better options uh, But as a whole, I mean he's playing awesome right now I'm very impressed by the way he's played so far in this gameplay at least so let's kick the oh wrong guy. That's okay We'll reset it here. Um, we're gonna come here. We're gonna escape away. We're gonna stop pop Jamal Murray Oh my gosh, maybe he's just the best. Oh my lord I mean, he's not because he's not elite defensively and his release still is not amazing. I, it's not. I'm just standing on it. I don't care how, look he, how good he looks right now. The release is not elite at a competitive level. With that being said, he moves really well if you know what moves to do with him i mean if you know what you're doing with this card he is going to move really really well and he is disgusting it's just a little hard to be disgusting against true hard off ball defense sometimes good dish down to Kwame there he played too high 
Uh, basically, just waiting, waiting for the defense to make a mistake more than anything else. Though it's a lot of the way that offense is played in this game, unfortunately. Um, it can be really tough to actually just like create a shot against an elite off-ball defender like Drew Holiday is. Not great defense there, getting blown by. Although we kind of didn't close out at the right angle there. That's more on me, I think, than it is on Jamal. But a 13 to nothing lead in two minutes is one of the best offensive performances we could really have to start off a game. Jamal Murray is having about as good of a game as I could have possibly imagined. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting all that much of an offensive performance matched up against drew holiday but he has exceeded expectations to say the least to start this off anyway i'm trying to do a fat stop there wasn't able to get drew holiday to cut to get behind me anyway but we're gonna try our best here burst this way there we go fat stop oh that's not even oh that did not get drew holiday behind me i was trying to get that crab but it's just not there it's one of the most effective ways to get open threes off sometimes in this game but maybe i need to go try to fade instead or something and he does get a dunk there but only cuts it to a 13 to 3 game so we still have ourselves a pretty significant lead so far uh let's see what we can do right now um Burst here, attack this way, and fade for me. Jamal Murray, dude, he kind of moves like a dog. Slightly late is so tough. It's such a good shot. I just just missed it. I just missed it. It's on me. I just missed it. It's all right. Um, wall up here. Good D, AK. He greened a 80. 51. Okay, I thought that was an 81, but still. Green's a 51. You see, the RNG has kind of shifted a little bit, but it's okay. Wall, chill. Oh, my. I'm shooting it. I don't care. I'm shooting it. I don't care. Green it. Come on, Jamal. Oh, my goodness. 10%. I thought I greened it. Kind of forcing up some questionable shots, especially, like I said, for a guy whose release is not that insane. Speaking of questionable shots, don't know what you're putting up there with Bob Pettit, but swing it over to Kobe. Back to Jamal. Jamal resetting here. Crab for me. Jo that release is not first. I mean... I want to like this card so much because like I actually do kind of like him and I really like the way he moves, but I just don't think his release is quite good enough. He's good, but he's not elite. And I think honestly, I'd probably still take Tyler Hero over him today because I like Hero's jumper better. And I think movement wise, they're honestly relatively similar because Hero does have a better dribble style as a, a good defense there. Very good defense there as a whole. I just I think he's going to struggle a little too much against the best of the best cards and especially the best like players because they're going to know how to take advantage of his lack of defense a lot better than the guy that I'm playing right now will for sure. Cat shoot Jamal one more three ball. Let's finish off the gameplay with a nice little highlight 14 points two assists and just a really good performance all the way around for jamal murray let's play that oh jamal oh my goodness you're a dog slasher hey look at jamal murray gold precision dunker gets a finish at the rim as well 16 and 2 on 6 of 10 and 4 of 8 from 3 as well as a steal in four minutes of gameplay that is awesome well just over four minutes so technically five but regardless he played awesome very impressed by this card and i think he's fun to use for sure is he a top tier point guard no but he's very fun to use, and he can be very viable, especially against a not-quite-as-good defensive opponent, to be honest. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.